I'm Nina Moyni, a reporter for NPR News, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Minnesota presidential primary. The goal of the presidential primary is to narrow the field of candidates by awarding delegates from each state. For example, let's say there are three Democratic candidates running for president. In the primary, candidate A gets 55% of the vote, candidate B gets 30%, and candidate C gets 15% of the vote. They are then awarded a proportional number of delegates in each state. Those those delegates will head to party conventions later this year where they pick a final nominee. Minnesota's presidential primary is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. That's also Super Tuesday when 14 other states will also hold presidential primaries. Some states' presidential nominating contests are earlier than Minnesota's. But since Minnesota has no excuse absentee voting, voters can actually cast a ballot 46 days before the primary. That's January 17th for this year's presidential primary. Primary, and that's earlier than any other state in the nation. Because Minnesota has a primary system, getting out to vote is a lot like voting in any other election. First, double check that you're registered to vote and find your local polling site through the Minnesota Secretary of State's website. Then you can head out to vote on primary day anytime between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. But here's where a presidential primary is different than a general election. Instead of all the candidates on one ballot, each party has a separate ballot. You have to request which one you want. The major parties in Minnesota are the Democratic Farmer Labor Party, the Republican Party of Minnesota, the Grassroots Legalized Cannabis Party, and the Legal Marijuana Now Party. If you don't select a party's ballot, you won't be able to vote in the primary. In Minnesota, the party you choose is considered private data, but the chairs of each major party can know which ballot you selected. The chair of each party has to submit a list of candidates by the end of the year before the election. That's the final list, even if a candidate drops out before the primary. And remember, this is just a presidential primary. No other candidates for other offices will appear on your ballot. 